It's just like I feel like behavior. They're just so freaking stubborn, man. Like I can deal with like the spaghetti code, spaghetti coding, and all that stuff. I honestly can. Like I get it. Like designing games is hard, right? And like making it so that they're not like buggy, and if it breaks every once in a while, that's not like too huge of a deal. Just, you just handle it, right? Just laugh off at the bugs, and it's whatever. But man, like the the thing that upsets me is the fact that they have the power, right, to make this game so much better and more balanced, and they don't because of bad decisions and stubbornness, right? And they don't listen to their freaking community. Like it's very clear that they don't play their own game that much, right? Which is okay. But if you're gonna do that, how about you listen to the people that play your fucking game for a living, right? You know what I mean? There's so many streamers that are more than happy to give, like, detail, in-depth input and to help you out. And they wouldn't even charge you money for it, I bet. Fucking half of them wouldn't charge you, like, a penny to just, like, help you out because they want to see the game be better. So, like, if you're not gonna play your own game, how about you listen to them a little bit, at least? But behavior's like, nope, not gonna do it. Circle of healing, oh, it's perfect, oh... Okay, everyone's complaining. All right, uh, let's just nerf it, I guess. Just make it 20% slower, even though that's not what people were complaining about. Okay, I'm ranting too much. I digress. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, that, 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 that is true, Angel. As long as, you know, they, as long as they're being profitable, right? They, they've done their job as a company. I guess, like, speed with your wallets and all that. And as long as, you know, we're freaking buying bunny fang skins, which I have done. So I suppose I am part of the problem. <laughs> uh. Yeah, Thor is pretty busted. Like, I would, you know, I, I only allow chat to do it once a day. Like, I feel like, because, like, camping is another mechanic, right? That I would say. Oh, my lord. This, this woman just fucking you, you teleported me to the Shadow Realm. Holy crap, she, she was like, she like reached over my head with her like really long freaking Mrs. Incredible arms and just pulled the pallet in my face and teleported me backwards. I don't even know why I tried to pull this in there. Oh, so we're in RPD, so this is going to be a bit of a bit of an unfortunate one. But yeah, but like speaking of camping, right, and like a uh, basement bubba and all that stuff, we, they already have a pyramid head in the game, right? And he already, there's already his cages where if you camp the cages, the freaking... It, uh, like, sends the survivor to a, a different spot on the map. Like, why not do that with hooks, you know? Just be like, oh, the because the whole lore of the game, right, is the entity wants to be entertained by the killer killing the survivors. So why not be like, oh, guys, well, the entity doesn't like it when the killer camps the survivor, right? Because that's boring for the entity to watch. This woman just fucking dropped three pallets on my face. <laughs> back to back to back against the nemesis. <laughs> but okay. It happens. It's like, why not have a mechanic, right? Where it's like, oh, if you camp somebody, just the exact same thing as a pyramid head, but with a with a fucking with the hooks instead, and just be like, dude, this girl is actually gonna get away because this map is fucking anus. <laughs> I hate RPD. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, so it's just so weird, because, like, they already have the thing coded in the game. They just have to, like, change it a little bit, right? And it would, like, make perfect sense lore-wise. Because, like, you even get, you know, like, you if you camp and shit and get four kills, you, you get, like, oh, Entity Displeased. So, like, clearly, you know, the Entity doesn't like it when people camp, because it's boring for the Entity to watch, and that's the whole thing with the lore. So, like, it would make perfect sense. Okay, this is good, actually. It's a bit of a scourge hook for us. But they're too freaking stubborn to do it, so hey. She did stun me twice, that is true, Angel. So maybe maybe she oh dude, maybe she has like an archive or something, right? And she's like totally okay getting blasted if she gets a, some stuns out of it. Tier two, let's go. But I've been like fuck I I just I just, I just been ranting, dude. <laughs> Sorry about that. I've just been ranting so hard. Oh my lord. That I am gonna miss the freaking tentacle. But like I've been uh not actually paying attention to my surroundings, so I don't even know what the fuck is going on too much. We seem to be doing well. We have a good uh, progress with our tiers as nemesis, and they've only done one gen, and they don't seem to have a ton of progress in other gens. So we seem to be doing alright for the most part. That girl fucking made some fucking... Oh my lord, she's far away. Jesus. Da -da -da. Yeah, I'm sure that, you know, like, if they add... Because I feel like the game does have hella spaghetti code, and if they, like, add something... 
you know, it breaks something else. But, like, I don't think it's such a huge deal, personally. You kind of messed up, lady. Huh? I, I bet you I hit the edge of the desk. Unfortunate. Like, I don't feel like it's such a huge deal if they just kind of, you know, have to, like, release something and it's, like, broken initially and then they need to be, have a bit of a hot fix. It's like, eh. That's all good. Mm, to, like, explode on Twitch? Explode as in what sense? Like, in anger? Or, like, get really big? I'm also, you know, hopefully looking forward to that. Looking forward that it happens at all, right? But, hey, we can hope. <laughs> Not IRL. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm, uh, I'm hoping that I will also not explode in real life. That would be quite nice if that was, you know, the the route that my life ended up taking. Because people are just like feeding me with these spell hits, but hey, I'll take it. On a map like this, I need all the I need all the help I can get. Uh, it reminds me of World of Tanks. So I guess World of Tanks also has that issue, Angel. I see, huh? I feel like, what are games that, like, have this issue? I feel like it's it's kind of like a somewhat common thing, right? It's, like, super rare for the developers to be a bit, you know, like, stubborn, hard-headed, whatever you want to call it. Not listen to their community as much as they... as they do. I feel like For Honor was like that for a bit as well. I guess I never got into World of Tanks, but it's, uh... unfortunate to see that it's uh, as right widespread as that. Uh, let's break this while we're on the way to chasing her. Yeah, bro, I'm not in South America. My chances of exploding would dump like 200%. It's not even 50 Buddhas. It's exponentially more than that. Uh, yeah, that, that one pal that you had here got dropped earlier, so... And we can just M1 to make sure we don't miss. But that hard on the Yui with the yellow pants. Although there's only one Yui. And this is the section where we got, like, screwed over last time because there's no gens in this entire- or, sorry, there's no hooks in this entire area, dude. That is so silly. If you go down in that corner and you have, like, boil over or something, you- I just don't get you a hook on you, ever. This map is so silly. <laughs> Can't wait until Pudis expose RL. Come on, man. It's messed up. Poor Pudis. Mm. Can you guys check, by the way, uh... Can you guys check if the overlay is working again? Because if we if it's working, that's three matches in a row where the the thing is working. If you hover over the perks, then we know that uh, you know I'll I'll consider that good enough. It works, and then I can resize my thing. Oh, nice way, tech. Thank you, my friend. Uh, I took my eyes off chat for one second, and that woman disappeared into the wind. Where the heck? Okay, she's there. And the freaking boon totem that I didn't even notice that they uh had placed down. No. Dude, this zombie's useless. Did you see that? You killed my friend! You fucker! The zombie was like two inches away from her and just swung and like, I guess fucking... Give her face a bit of a scratch. Like, just itched her. That was silly. And then she fucking killed him right in front of me. Yeah, nice try. I don't think so. <laughs> Came back as a nostalgia? Yeah, I got that feeling for sure. I feel like there's some games that kind of catch you like that, right? And even though they're not perfect, you still go back. Just to remember, like, the Godo times, maybe when they're a bit better. I, f I feel about that, like, Rainbow Six. We've been playing Rainbow Six recently. Is that the main reason I still, like, go back and play that game? It's mostly to kind of, you know, remember the times when it used to be better than it currently is. What's up? <laughs> oh, shit, you're right, Angel. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Let me get that fixed. There we go. Thank you for the heads up, though. Appreciate that. Pipe bomb. Are you gonna make a pipe bomb, Pudis? Or are you, uh, what are you, what are, what are we speaking about pipe bombs for? Ooh, that was a bit of a smart move there. Maybe double back a bit. No idea if she did it intentionally, but hey, if she did, well done. That somehow doesn't hit. Okay, dude. I see how it is. No, 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 no. Uh, that hard on her, let's not forget. And we're... it's it's RPD. It may not even be like bad RNG on the Scourge hooks, but dear god. It's freaking just... Nice, you didn't expect it. <laughs> we're not having any luck getting to these Scourge hooks. Then right as I say that. One right in front of us, so bless. Bonk. First PC game. A lot of great people in there, none of them still play. Yeah, that's, that's a bit of a shame. I guess, you know, shame, but it also goes to show you the state of the game, right? 
if all the people you met, no, none of them are playing it anymore. Because I feel like if a game is like truly sort of like great and stands the test of time or whatever, chances are they're like you know, most people are still gonna be playing it, right? Maybe maybe not both, but like a good chunk. But if every single person you met just like dipped out of it, I think it goes to show that maybe the game went a direction that the community is uh, not happy with. Pudis crafting the pipe bomb in his basement. Yeah, Pudis. That's. I don't know that I would recommend that, man. Don't be. Don't be downloading the, the anarchist cookbook or anything. Don't think that's the. Don't think that's that's the move. Uh, this might be a shit spot as well with hooks. Let's see. Uh, or let's see. Okay, there one. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. So that corner right there is really bad. But if they go down this way, we do have this one hook that we can get to. The people you like don't. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I'm, it, it, surely it's not dead, dead, right? Because then they would just like pull support from it. But if you look, you can you can always look at player counts. It's the same thing with Rainbow Six, where like it used to be like so much popular than it is today, and I feel like no game is gonna stay like perfectly popular forever at the very top, right? Somebody just got hit by a zombie. But if it loses like you know a ton of freaking players. And it's just like kind of like a, you know a, a fraction of what it used to be. Then uh, that kind of tells you a bit of a story. Yeah, avoid tech world of tanks exactly. Bonk. Is it like as uh, what would you say like you know if you look at the biggest that w world of tanks has ever been, at its you know prime slash apex, is it like you know fifty percent of the player base, 60, 70, 20? Cause I think like freaking Rainbow Six must be like, I feel like Rainbow Six must be at like, I don't know, 10% of the, the player base that it used to have. And I'm just kind of like, you know, uh, sort of, what's the, the word? Not eyeballing cause I'm not looking at anything, but you know, kind of doing a bit of guesswork so I could be wrong. But I do feel like it's a, a fraction of uh, what it used to have, which is a bit of a shame. But then again, they did take the game in a bit of a, a weird direction. On the hook. Dead. Then the other girl is going to rescue. The map has kind of worked out for us a fair bit as well, I'm sure. I'm sure they've also been having, you know, a bit of a tough time finding gens and whatnot, so that's uh, that's great for us. That's... <laughs> they, they've had a circle of healing. And I just... I so cannot be bothered to go remove it. Because in this map, I'm sure they can just go and put it down, and maybe it's in like a library, so I have to walk all the way up there. And they don't need to be up there to freaking, you know. Oh, nice. 99 sprint burst. Well played, well played. Very smart. Sadly for you, though, you're kind of out of places to be. Oh, smart. That other girl hero healed herself? Probably with a circle of healing. But at this point, I think uh, too too little, too late for them. I'm afraid. Nope. That tier three reach, allowing us to get that hit there, and both of them are dead on hook. Uh, this scourge hook here can give us a bit of information. That's nice. If the other girl is on, uh, okay, every single gen is at 0% progress. I think it's pretty safe to say that they're in a bit of a rough spot the time being. We can look, see if the... Okay, so it's down here. That's 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 great for us. They can still, you know, get use of it uh, upstairs. So it's still really powerful. Uh, Circle of Healing is super, super powerful in any map that has multiple levels. But on this one in particular, is it's like the most powerful. Because if they, if they manage to... Is that scratch marks there? No, it's just the map. If they manage to get the, the totem that spawns all the way up there, they literally have Circle of Healing all around that area at the top, all around here, down here, and then at the bottom as well, on the very first floor. And if I want to get rid of it, I have to go up one level, get in here, up another level, all the way up there, break the totem, jump down. But they don't need to do that if they want to heal themselves. They can literally just be right there at the bottom, and they'll be fine. But it's okay. Let's not complain, it's totally fine, because behavior made it 20% slower. So it's all right. You can still heal yourself with no consequence uh, infinitely, but 
it, you only do it at 80% speed. So, you know. <laughs> oh, unlucky. I'll just let this girl have the gates. Why not? Or, you know, I mean, potentially, there are... that, that There was, like, a, a span of, like, four days where I kept getting into matches where people would just die to the timer over and over and over again instead of trying to go for exit gates, which was super weird. So there's always a possibility that that's going to happen. But if it doesn't, we can let her, you know. <sighs> oh, she let her team die. You're right about that, Angel. Maybe she does not deserve... Uh, Maybe she does not deserve this uh, this escape, huh? All right, you've convinced me. <laughs> Murder it is. She might still get away if we uh, get like bad luck or bad timing or something. Yeah, I mean, uh, same here, Angel. Although it's hard, it's it's always like. No, I think you're right. I think you're right. Like I was I was gonna say, it's hard to tell if. It's like, you know, like two people playing together and one of the people is being like, no, no, just just let me die, right? It's no biggie. Like, just let me die and try to get a hatch because that happens. But that uh, if that was the case, I'm sure that uh, Yui would have just let herself die on hook, right? And I, I as, unless I'm misremembering, I think that Yui like held on for as long as she could. So I think you're right, Angel. And you have convinced me and therefore death it is. Though that being said... It's a bit of a bit of a jog between these two exegates. So if she gets lucky, she escapes. I don't know, I don't know that we uh I don't know that we do anything about this. Though it's not looking great for her. Just gonna have to No! Damn it. <laughs> Unfortunate. Oh well. Still, given that it was RPD, great match. I'm I'm perfectly happy with that. <laughs> I'm perfectly okay with that uh, performance, given the uh, the map, because there we all know there's a uh, there's potential for some high tier fuckery in the uh, Raccoon Police Department. That's for damn sure. <laughs> yeah, spoke too soon, Angel, but it's okay. I I do that all the time. I am known for doing that. As a matter of fact, like I am known for like the second that I say something, it, it happens. I was like, oh, at least no gens have popped, and then like two gens pop, freaking back to back to back or something like that. But like, oh, at least there was no circle of healing, and then freaking you just hear the thunder in the sky, and a boon gets placed. <laughs>